An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge, by Ambrose Bierce. An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge, is a short story by Ambrose Bierce and published in 1890. It explores the final moments of a man named Peyton Farquhar, who is about to be executed for attempting to sabotage a railroad bridge during the American Civil War. The story is divided into three sections. Section I. The story begins with Farquhar standing on a wooden plank on the Owl Creek Bridge with a noose around his neck. The narrator describes the setting as a desolate spot in the middle of a forest with Union soldiers guarding the area. The soldiers are cold and unfeeling towards Farquhar and enjoy his suffering. Farquhar is desperate to escape his fate and imagines breaking free from the ropes and swimming safely. Section 2. The story's second section begins with Farquhar falling from the plank into the water below. He frees himself from the ropes and swims downstream, away from the bridge. He experiences a series of strange events as he moves through the forest. He sees a road stretching forever and encounters strange, indescribable creatures. Farquhar is disoriented and confused, but keeps moving forward, driven by the desire to return to his wife and family. Section 3. The story's third section begins with Farquhar reaching his home and being greeted by his wife. He is emotional and moves to embrace her, but as he does, he feels a sharp pain in his neck, and everything goes black. The story then reveals that Farquhar never escaped his execution. His escape and the following events were all hallucinations, and he died instantly when the rope around his neck snapped. The story ends with the chilling revelation that his entire experience, which seemed to last for hours, only occurred in the moments before his death. Each section of the story serves a distinct purpose in building tension and suspense. The first section sets the scene and establishes the imminent danger facing Farquhar. The second section creates a dreamlike atmosphere, blurring the line between reality and imagination. The third section delivers the final twist, revealing that everything that came before was a figment of Farquhar's imagination. The story is a haunting meditation on the nature of time, reality, and the human mind, leaving the reader questioning what is real and what is not. An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge, is a masterful exploration of the nature of time and reality. It blurs the line between reality and imagination, leaving the reader to question what is true and what is not. The story also highlights the horror of war and the tragedy of individual lives being lost in the name of a more significant cause. The surprise ending forces the reader to reconsider everything they thought they knew about the story, making it a haunting and unforgettable read.